Hi, this is Xtal. In this tutorial, we'll start with a movie file in Node, layer it with noise and multiple composite operators to reshape the texture and refine the details using level adjustments. Step by step, we'll turn randomness into an organic, landscape-like noise texture, building the foundation of Grainscape FX. We start by importing our footage with a movie file in Node. Then, we connect a fit top to adjust the resolution and aspect ratio, ensuring that all subsequent operations work on a consistent scale. This step prevents distortion or cropping later when we begin layering noise textures. After passing through the fit top, we add a null top. While it doesn't perform any visible processing, it acts as a stable anchor point when swapping nodes or experimenting with different effects. In more complex networks, the null ensures that branches remain clean and safe for further compositing or final output. Next, we introduce a noise top to generate our base pattern. Here, we're using the Simplex 3D GPU type, tweaking harmonic spread and gain to build layered textures. By fine-tuning parameters like period and amplitude, the noise evolves from raw randomness into an organic structure, ready to enrich the compositing stages ahead. Here we animate the noise by adjusting its transform parameters. In the TX field, we add abs time dot seconds times 0.1, which causes the noise pattern to shift gradually over time. This transforms the noise from a static texture into a living surface, creating the organic flow that defines the Grainscape FX. At this stage, we add a second noise top to diversify the texture alongside the first. By tweaking period, harmonics, and spread differently from the initial noise, we create variations in scale and detail, layering complexity into the pattern. Combining multiple noises allows us to move beyond simple randomness and into richer, more organic visual landscapes.
At this stage, we add a slope top to extract the gradient of luminance changes in the image. Each color channel can represent horizontal or vertical slopes, and here we're using luminance differences to merge the subject's form with the noise pattern. This doesn't just blend textures, it enhances edges and contours, giving the effect more depth and structure. The edges extracted by the slope top can appear sharp and harsh, so we use a blur top to soften them. By adjusting the filter size, we create smoother contours that integrate more naturally with the layered noise. Here, blur isn't just about softening, it helps the textures blend seamlessly, adding an organic cohesion to the final composition. Now we bring everything together with a composite top, combining the two noise patterns with the blurred slope result. By adjusting the operation mode, the layers don't just stack, they interact based on luminance and color, generating richer textures. The outcome shifts from pure randomness to a structured landscape where contours and organic noise coexist. We apply a displaced top to warp the original footage with our composite noise texture. Here, the horizontal source is set to the red channel and the vertical source to the blue channel, allowing the noise color data to drive pixel displacement. By fine-tuning the displace weight, you can go from subtle surface shifts to intense distortions. This step transforms the video into an abstract landscape, completing the grainscape FX. Finally, we add a null top to stabilize the output. The null serves as a clean endpoint, making it easy to extend the network with additional effects or route it to an out top for rendering. Next, we add a switch top to allow quick switching between different outputs. By adjusting the index parameter, we can toggle between the original footage and the displaced result or even test multiple variations with ease. This makes the workflow more flexible, enabling experimentation and comparison without rebuilding the network. In this stage, the anti-alias top isn't just used for smoothing, it's repurposed to create an experimental edge-driven look. By setting the edge detect source to RGB and adjusting the threshold, the displaced output gains sharp contours and striking contrasts. This approach transforms the grainscape FX into something bolder, emphasizing edge-based textures rather than a polished finish. Here, we use a monochrome top to convert the yellow outlines into sharp white contours. Then, in the transform top, we enable the background top option with a black background, which creates a striking contrast. 
This makes the white lines stand out vividly, producing a graphic, sketch-like effect within the noise textures. As a result, the Grainscape FX achieves a bold experimental look with strong visual impact. We use an overtop to composite the white contours on top of the original footage. The base video remains visible in the background, while the lines generated through monochrome and transform overlay on top, creating a unique contrast. We use a switch top to animate the contours appearing and disappearing over the noise filter. By driving the index value with animation or a chop input, the outline layer flickers in and out, creating a rhythmic interaction with the video. This transforms the Grainscape FX from a static composite into an experimental visual experience where noise and contours dynamically coexist. Here, we introduce an LFO to drive the index of the switch top. By connecting a sine wave output, the contour layer smoothly fades in and out, as if the noise filter itself is breathing. This technique turns the composition into a dynamic, evolving effect, bringing the Grainscape FX to life as an organic, time-based visual. In the final step, we render out the completed Grainscape FX using the movie file out. The contour flicker effect, driven by the switch and LFO, is preserved, while the resolution ensures proper scaling before export. This allows us to save the dynamic visual not just as a real-time effect, but as a high-quality video file ready for use in production, VJ performances, or as part of your creative archive. In this tutorial, we created the Grainscape FX, an effect where noise, contours, and filters intersect to form a living, dynamic visual. Each step was more than just technical execution. It was a way of reinterpreting footage and adding rhythm to the image. Creativity is always built on small experiments, and through them, new possibilities emerge. Before closing, I want to express my sincere gratitude to everyone who has been part of this journey, especially my supporters. Your encouragement and trust are what make it possible for me to continue creating and sharing these works. I hope today's project brings inspiration to your own creative path. Thank you.